Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at dividing a placeholder for text in PowerPoint into columns so that you can fit more on a slide. I have a slide here with lots of items that are time wasters at work and I want to display them better on the slide. Right now the font is really small. Now these could be numbered, they could have bullet points or they could have nothing at all. But you can see when I click here that they are all in this placeholder. So what I'm going to do is select over every single one of them, go to the home tab of the ribbon and look for this option here which is add or remove columns. I'll click the down pointing arrow and here I can select one, two or three columns. I'm going to choose more columns because this opens up a dialog from which I can still select my three columns but I could also increase the spacing. So I could make sure that for example there was nearly three quarters of an inch of spacing between these columns so there's a little bit of breathability on the slide. I'll click OK. And you can see here that now I have my data arranged in columns, in three columns. Now I can select over this, I can turn my numbers off and I could also use bullet points, whatever I like. Now one thing to be really careful of here in PowerPoint is that you can't adjust the length of these columns. There's no ability such as there was in say Microsoft Word to add a column break. So if you need to adjust things really what you can do is just squeeze up this box, just make it a little bit smaller and that can force things that are for example over two lines to be in the same column. Now I'm not experiencing that there but that's not unusual to have things that are broken over a column and this is really all you can do apart from for example moving a element to somewhere else. So for example if this was breaking over a line I could just cut it out from here and I could go and put it somewhere else where it's not going to cause a break across a column. There are other ways to arrange data like this in columns, for example using tables, but I really think that this is the best way of doing it because if we had to take something out here, so for example say our boss didn't want us to put reading and writing or meetings in as time wasters, then it's very easy for me to delete them and you can see that everything else is just spreading out to fill the gap. If we were working in a table that wouldn't be the case. So I think it's probably the better way of organising things in columns but just be aware that you don't have anywhere near the power in PowerPoint that you would have had in for example Microsoft Word. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.